Okay, y'all, let's see. Libra and Taurus. All right, let's see what's up with the Libra and the Taurus. Libra and Taurus, Taurus and Libra. You could all be going through similar things, things together, the things could be in your chart, whatever. All right, let's go ahead and have a look. See for, whoa, Nelly for Libra and Taurus. So there's a fork in the road. It's time to make a decision. And what is this? Strong foundations about where people belong and who they're going to build with. And then there is the Empress energy. Libra and Taurus are the Empress energy. All right. And the Empress energy is about beauty. It's about art, creativity, receiving. Uh, anywho. Do it a spirit. Some sort of new beginning. Once you make a choice, once they make a choice, once somebody chooses something here, you, there's no looking back. Be a warrior, not a warrior. If you don't like the road you're walking, start paving another one. I just split this deck, y'all. And that's what we get here. Obstacles are things a person sees when he takes his eyes off the goal. So let's go ahead and have a look, see what's going on for Libra and Taurus spirit. Libra and Taurus. Ooh, what's up with this decision and the fork in the road? What is this? Ooh, geez. The lovers and the king of cups and balance, which is um, Sagittarius, alchemy, temperance. Anywho, where are we going with the life altering decisions? It's about maturity. Uh, things happen in the older age. <clears throat> Can I have another card? Eight of Swords. Another one. One. Not three. Not fucking five. Just one. It's a lot of struggling. Uh, you, people don't like what other people have to say necessarily. Like, ugh. I don't know what the heron, the bird, actually symbolizes. Um, they're not one that com comes out in my, my things a lot, but I have seen the King of Cups is Cancer. And this right here, this archer is Cancer. Now, I don't know if there's like some nemesis that's a Cancer or some shit like that. Seven of Swords, Insecurity, and the Ten of Swords, and the Fox. It's almost like y'all have the same... Ugh enemy or something like that. One more. Fuck. Yo, let's go to the next one. What's the building blocks? The tree, which that looks a bit like a labyrinth. It's the tree of life and the lynx, which is the page of stones, which is about small manifestations. It's about practicality and lesson learning and messages about the lesson learning. It's also about childlike energy. Uh, it could be one of these brick by bricks and somebody's uh, done the things, you know, one brick at a time. Uh, that's not the way everybody does it, but it's been slow going. Nonetheless, somebody's made a firm foundation here, and that's the emperor. Somebody's watching. And why does that matter? The knight of stones. That's a lot of growth. The horse. And the Eight of Cups as people are changing direction. Somebody is seeing a lot of themselves in someone else. More than they ever thought maybe that they would see. And I think that this has been like um, uh, a great lesson. Like the mirroring image isn't what somebody expected it to be. But having had to have to look at it, it makes somebody say, you know what, like... Hmm. You know, maybe they do make sense. Maybe I don't have to, you know, somebody's doing a lot of studying and learning and things uh, about the journey, about death, about family, about the legacy, about DNA, about judgment. So I feel like, you know, people have been talking about um, it's been going back and forth between friends and family members about, you know, judgment day, about what's going to. What's gonna come on on the on the at the on your end day on my end day on you know 
on all of all, the, everyone's got an expiration date and people are starting to want to like do better and be better. And this is a great example of that. Like somebody has, uh, let's say just like, uh, just looked at their peers and their family and there's been a lot of injustices and I feel like the people uh, like, uh, that have done all this growth started off thinking maybe they were better than other people, but then, you know, we put it, putting ourselves in other people's shoes has helped us to overcome our own uh, adversities. All right, and the blasted oak, which is uh, maybe the family isn't what, the, you know, the life path isn't, isn't what you thought it was gonna be. Nine of Cups, Generosity, and the Seven of Wands. The perseverance um, with your life's path has to do with your magic, King of Pentacles. It has to do with your will, your... Uh, what you get in is what you put out of it. Three of Swords. And I do feel like there's been a lot of this going on. Six of Swords, and that's part of the transition and the awakening is to leave a lot of this hurt and pain and jealousy and things behind and to, to be a more kind, loving person. And it's the king and queen of pentacles. And even, you know, uh, to be a better partner, a better mother, a better father, a better brother, just a, a better fucking human overall. All right, let's go on and see what else we, we have for... Libra and Taurus. No, I just want one. No. Life is not always a matter of holding good cards, but sometimes playing a poor hand well. I guess that sums it up much better than I did. So somebody is like, oh, well, somebody, you know, plays that poor hand awesome. Uh, I really like their courage. I really like their whatever. I, I admire them. If I was in their shoes, I don't know what I would have done. Happiness lies in the joy of achievement and the thrill of creative effort. And I feel like there's a lot of pride. It's like you, there's a lot of working together to, to, to make the things happen. Told you so and return to sender. <sighs> it's not easy to appreciate something until you've lost it. So this is an energy of spiritual matters where people have had to go through some serious adversities to wake up. People have lost their... Their family members have gone through a lot of losses uh, recently over the last several years, it feels like. And now it's like the people are, are all new. It's like a whole new book, a whole new life, just all new. The only way to get better is surround yourself with, peop uh, with people who believe in you. No guts, no story, and what they aren't telling you, missing information. I do feel like people don't necessarily tell the people that they are proud of them. Uh, and Because it feels a little envious. And maybe somebody just don't know how to say the things. Happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. And then this says, I failed over and over and over again. And that's why I have success. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. So it's a lot of envy. Like you, somebody has gone, you know, the extra fucking miles to get the things that they want. And people are like, wow, like that's really great. I never thought that they'd do that or whatever. Somebody's also very heavily protected. Somebody has had to remove themselves from people, places, and things in order to get the things that they have. And maybe that's the separation where the people are like, if I, this is separation too, if I had to do the things all alone, I, I don't know that I would have come out on top. Here's that cancer energy again with the magician. Uh, and this is a powerful, independent energy. Uh, so the protected solo stuff was on purpose so that somebody could... Uh, grow beyond what people imagined or people had planned or could see or something something like that. Also, somebody's like a lie detector. They can see through everyone's motherfucking stuff. All the new beginnings, it's new goals, the goals and stuff, they have been, uh, people have, you know, they've got to them and that's why people are very proud of people coming alive, a lot of growth. Uh, and a woman here. Uh, a lot of communication, a lot of 
uh, like somebody is like a boss or some shit like that. Somebody put the things out there and they said they're going to happen and, and, and they motherfucking happen.